Hello and welcome to another spooky video. I'm excited about today's video, but I'm also nervous because we're going to do The Bride of Frankenstein. And I feel like I have the right hair colors to make this work, but do I have the skill? And not only do I have the skill, but like, I feel like maybe to do her hair, you have to really tease the shit out of your hair. And I don't want to do that because like, I love you. I do. But I really want to be able to brush my hair again someday. <laughs> So I don't know, so I slept with my hair in French braids. And we're gonna see if maybe that helps some of the wiggliness, waviness, I guess this is the word, no wiggly. Um, and maybe some of the frizziness, and maybe that'll help. Um, I also, she wears like a sheet basically, right? Because she was a corpse that they put together and then like a lightning bolt struck. I have seen this movie actually. Um, but I don't own like anything white or anything white. So this is literally my Xena shirt. But if I just sit like this, maybe it just looks like a white t-shirt. And, um, the first part of this that we're going to do, I realize that I'm just jumping right, right into this, but I'm excited because I forgot that I had some of these little, uh, s like, scar tattoos, stitched tattoos left over. So we're going to not fling my makeup brushes around, and we're going to put a couple on. Because she, the queen herself, if you recall, was stitched together. I love me. These old black and white, what did I do with... The spray bottle of water. Is it behind me still? It freaking is. I went all the way over there and then I didn't even grab it. So anyway, what I was saying, I really love a lot of these old black and white horror movies. Um, they're just beautifully shot, beautifully acted. Especially the Frankenstein ones. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've always had a particular love for Frankenstein. Like, call me a cheese ball, but I do think that, you know, Frankenstein's kind of an uh, intentional, unintentional. I can't ask Mary Shelley, so I don't know. But it does sort of feel like an allegory for disability, right? Like, people, the way that they see him, he hasn't even done anything, and he communicates differently, and he walks differently, and whatever, and people just freak out, and they call him a, mon a monster. It does seem very disability-coded. And so I just like it. And then in Bride of Frankenstein is, like, when he starts to learn words, and he starts to, like, have connections with like that blind guy and you know I I just I really like the movie I do find it unfortunate though that it's called Bride of Frankenstein and she's only in like the last four seconds of the movie <laughs> but it's fine it's fine I think you know that's just goes to show her her power that you know she's in the movie for four seconds she doesn't have any lines other than screaming and hissing and she's you know an icon it just makes me sad, though, whenever I see, like, merch of her and she, her and Frank are, like, kissing. I'm like, no. She literally, like, she's, a t she's terrified of him. The movie ends with him blowing him up. Because he thought he was getting a friend and she doesn't like him. You know, I used to have a really sharp jawline, and then I got a little bit older, and I just kept snacking. Frick, I didn't get quite the edge. Oh well, who cares? I'll just make sure that in the thumbnail I'm facing this way. <laughs> Those were the two that were the most important to me. I only have two little ones left, which I do like. What do you think of that? Woohoo! Can you hear that? It just started storming! Perfect weather for the Bride of Frankenstein look. It's alive! So now I have to do my least favorite part on earth, and that is block out my eyebrows. I hate ta -ta 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 -ta. blocking out my eyebrows. I would rather put on a bald cap. Because at least the end result of a bald, a bald cap is funny. But the end result of putting my eyebrows up? Nothing. I just have no eyebrows. But unfortunately, this film was made in the 1930s, and what was the look in the 1930s? Like, pencil-thin eyebrows. Ah! 
Look at how wacky that looks. Not wacky in a good way either. Not dark brown wacky. And honestly, guys, I'm not going to perfectly block out my brows. I just can't be bothered. I love you so much, but you know how it is. So this is the ColourPop powder. It is the cheapest powder I own, and that is why we use it for this. I just hate the feeling of, like, the glue in my eyebrows, you know? And it's so hard to get out. Now the fun part, which is foundation. Where did I put it? The worst part about working at this little table that I use for my videos is that it, like, every time I put something down, I'm telling you, it, like, evaporates. So we're going to use my MAC Studio Fix foundation. For no reason other than I really like it. And it's really easy to build. So I'm hoping. And praying. That I can build it over my eye eyebrows. Excuse me. That I can build it over my eyebrows. Now, the Bride of Frankenstein, she doesn't have a ton of makeup on. Nay, nay. She's just got those straight across eyebrows, a red lip, and then the hair. I understand what they were doing with the hair. You know, she was laying flat, and then she got electrocuted by lightning. So, like, it's frizzy and up because she, it, she was, I understand the, I understand the, the, the thought process. It's just hard to recreate. I will say, though, isn't it weird that Spirit Halloween doesn't appear to have a Bride of Frankenstein wig? Like, I was in their store the other day, and I was kind of trying to check stuff off the list of, like, stuff I need for videos. I'm not getting a lot this year, but, like, some stuff I can get. Um... And I was looking in the wig section, and I didn't see one, so I opened up the website on my phone. No Bride of Frankenstein. How weird. Editing Abby here. How weird is it that they've never had a Bride of Frankenstein costume, wig, anything, until this year? And, um, when I shot this video in August, they didn't have it, and now they do. And I've seen it both in-store now, and I've seen it on the website here. They have it for all age groups. They've got socks with her on it. They've got patches. And it doesn't show up here, but they even have a makeup kit. I did not buy that for this year, but they have Bride of Frankenstein everything now all of a sudden randomly. So, yeah. I know I just said that they don't have a wig, but they do now. Great. Love that for me. I didn't do very much on this at all. It's not my fault my eyebrows are so naturally luscious. Well, the positive news is it's really covered my acne. The negative news is that it really has not covered my eyebrows. But we're over it. We're over it. We're going to give it some time to dry while we do other stuff. So I'm just going to put some concealer on under my eyes now, as you do. Now, the Bride of Frankenstein isn't exactly known for her uh, badass smoky eye. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to use this uh, ColourPop quad I have. What's it called? Dare to Bear. Um, oh my god, I have so much makeup on my shirt already. Um, and we're just going to like do some really light shadow in the crease just to make it... I don't know, just so I've done something. Take the light shade, put it all the way up here. Take the slightly darker shade. I really love this color pop palette, but man, does it make a mess. Like, look at, look at that. 
And her eyes are bright and open, not so much catty. So I'm gonna like bring it up higher in the middle than I usually would because that sort of helps create that wide-eyed look. And then when I do my eyeliner, I will not be winging it. Which is gonna like be really difficult for me, but sometimes in life you just have to make sacrifices. The glue makes your skin like not nice. I don't know how drag queens do it. I guess practice makes perfect too. And I do this like twice a year. I look intense right now. So next step for now, um, we're gonna put on a little bit of liner just right along my lash line. Um, and then we'll let that dry and then we'll, we'll do mascara after that's dried. So I accidentally did my liner a little thicker than I meant to, but honestly, that's okay. Um, we're just gonna, she's like a babe. So we're gonna do my best to snatch my nose. I'm not good at that, so I wouldn't hold my breath. But I just feel weird if I don't contour my nose for a, like a look as makeup heavy as this. The truth is if I ever did the bride as a costume, I would not pluck out my eyebrows. I would just let it be my normal eyebrows. <laughs> There's too much other product in this brush. It's got like glue and powder and it's just making everything look ashy. So we're just, we're just not going to use this brush anymore. Okay, it appears my eyeliner has dried, which means it is crusty dusty lash curler time. I don't think you guys understand that when I'm shooting a YouTube video, and it's makeup related, like I feel like I can't stop to take a breath. And the reason I feel this way is because my camera shoots in 20 minute increments and I can see the countdown going and it always goes so much faster than I think it's going to. And it just gives me anxiety. I'm like, wow, I've already been shooting for 45 minutes and it feels like no time has gone by at all. So I sit here and I'm like, <laughs> like rushing to get stuff done. You know what I will say, though? Like, one of the things that I really like about The Bride of Frankenstein is, like, how the movie opens. It opens with Mary Shelley, right, like, the actress playing her, like, sitting down, telling the story of Frankenstein, and then being like, oh, I wish, like, it didn't end the way it did, and she's like, well, who said that's the end? And then she gets into the, the sequel, right? And that's kind of how the movie goes. I just, it always felt to me like they were actually giving credit to Mary Shelley, and I appreciate that because Mary Shelley is often sort of under appreciated in my mind as the sort of mother of sci-fi and horror and all that. So we're just going to put on some lashes. Why? Because I went to. And then the makeup portion of this video is almost done. Why did so much of the paper come off? With the tattoos. This is my question. I've never had that happen before. See, it just brings the look to a whole new level to have lashes. These are the Kiss... Where are they? Kiss Couture Foam Mink Collection Boudoir Lashes. They're very intense. Believe it or not, these lashes are a little much for me for, like, every day. I know. We never thought this day would come. But they are a little much for me. So that's why I saved them for you. Because you like when my lashes are too much. Wah! Lips and brows are left. Lips we're going to do first. Um, the only lip color I own that is red that is not completely matte is this Super Stay 24 Hour one. Um, it I'm never going to be able to get it off. But I do this for you. And I actually wear this lipstick all, all the time. 
for the scary brows. I have a picture of her open on the computer screen behind you. If it will wake up from sleep mode. Now a smarter girl than me would probably map it out with an eyeshadow first, but... I've been accused of many things in my life. Being smart is not one of them. Yeah, I should have done a couple more coats of the glue. My eyelashes aren't even stuck down in the front here. My eyelashes. Eyebrows. Something like that. What do you think? I think the bottom is too sharp. But I didn't bring a Q-tip. If I had mapped it out, they would be so much cleaner and so much nicer. But I didn't. I just went in with freaking freaking. Now, while makeup is an area I have some semblance of confidence with, an area that I have no semblance of confidence with is hair. I loved hair when I was a kid. I used to own curling irons in different sizes. I used to uh, try different heatless curl methods. And I'm talking like a kid kid and then like even into high school I was like, we're going to try this. Um, and then eventually I just gave up because... I'll be honest with you, a lot of it was because my of my hair texture. Um, the way it just doesn't... Like, people always want to be like, Abby, your hair is so smooth, it doesn't frizz, blah, blah, blah. Like, they think I'm just being annoying, but the truth is, like, when you have hair that is smooth and whatever, like, it doesn't want to do anything. So, like, I slept with my hair in French braids, and this is all we get. So I was hoping it would, like, have a whole bunch of added frizziness and whatever, but it apparently doesn't. So how we're going to do my hair, I actually did watch another YouTuber. I can't recall her channel name, but I will link it in the description box below. I watched her do it and it seemed so intelligent. Now she was very skilled and I am very not skilled. So we're just going to try it. She also didn't have like stupid long hair like I do. But basically, she did her whole hair up in this thing that we're going to try. And she, like, used that, that spray hair color and made it black. So we make a ponytail up here. Because my hair is kind of long. Whoops. I think I'm going to make mine a bun instead of a ponytail. And again, I don't... You know, if she was doing her hair for a party or just for the YouTube video and she's really, um, dedicated. But she really hairsprayed it and really teased. And I will not be doing that. So something like that. It's giving Cruella. Um, and then she used one of those sock bun things, like the round donuts. I don't have one, but I do have socks. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna cut off the end. We're not doing a real sock bun situation. We're just gonna, like... put it around so then what she did and I keep all of my hair elastics and my hair ties and whatnot in this little tiny Lord of the Rings bag and then she just started teasing and like bobby pinning hair to the sock thing you know it seems so intelligent now the Bride of Frankenstein she's got like a right I don't know that I'm gonna even bother trying to do that or maybe I should try. No. Okay. Let me dig out a couple of bobby pins. She did it much more delicate than I'm going to. She grabbed like little tiny sections and then teased them. I'm just going to grab like big sections, shove them in, hope for the best. That's 
you know, just who I am. This is, like, so warm in here now. <laughs> it was not warm in here when I started this video, but now that I'm working, now that I'm doing something, I can imagine one of those sock bun things. Like, the hair donuts is probably easier to... pin into. These socks are kind of tightly woven, so nothing wants to stay. I wish my hair was wavier, like, wavier. I slept, slept with my hair in French braids for no reason. Okay, we're about half up. Looks more just like a beehive. So again, if I was to do this as a real costume, I think I would probably invest in one of those hair donuts, and I would really hairspray the shit out of my hair, to like, just to be honest with you. And tease it. Maybe I could have. How else could I have made it? Like frizzy and curly. Could I have like straightened the braids? Maybe. I didn't apply any heat product to them. Maybe that would have helped. Like if I had wet them and then blow dried them or something. Yeah, this just looks like a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like her hair at all. I don't that girl in my YouTube video do it so well. Mine just looks like a really weird and weird beehive. Like the world's messiest beehive. And I'm 100% certain you can see the socks from the back. I'm not going to show you because I don't want you to see. But I'm just pointing out that like, even if you're going to comment and be like, no Abby, it's cute. Because you guys are too nice to me. Like I want you to know that it's not cute. Hmm. This is how you're, this is how it is. This is what you're getting. This, this, like, this is it. Like, this is, like, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know where we go from here. I told you, hair is not my thing. <laughs> I wish it was. I love hair. I think it's so beautiful. But I just don't have hair that is malleable. I have hair that is straight and shiny. And that's it. But at least I have, like, the right hair colors for this. Right? It It's not the worst. It is the worst. That, that's okay. That's okay. But anyway, this is my completed Bride of Frankenstein-inspired look. I'm really glad that I had these little tattoos, even though they left paper bits. I just think... You know, this is a costume... I've done a couple of these sort of girl costumes um, that I think are great and they're iconic incredible women but you kind of need the partner to go with it um and this Bride of Frankenstein like with the partner is great but she's recognizable enough on her own even though she gets two seconds of screen time like I think if you were to show up at a party like this with the proper outfit and not with a Xena shirt like you would people would know that you were the Bride of Frankenstein uh I would just hope for your sake that there's no like creepy dude who shows up as Frankenstein and then he like hits on you all night because that's like my number one fear with going with any costume that could be part of like a couple's costume is that someone else happens to be the other half it sounds like a, a meet cute but it's not it's my nightmare let's do Halloween trivia from Spirit Halloween Woo! I suck at shuffling cards I suck at shuffling cards I don't know how other people shuffle cards so well. Which sucks because, like, working at, like, a casino or, like, a blackjack dealer type situation, like, that's something that I could do. That's a wheelchair job. But unfortunately, I suck. Okay. Pull one from the middle. Why did people dress in costume during the ancient Celtic festival on which modern Halloween is based? A. To communicate with ghosts. B. To ward off ghosts. C, as a celebration of the new season, or D, to honor ancestors. What's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? It is B, to ward off ghosts. I've heard that before, actually, I think. I think that's one that I have heard before because it was, like, supposed to confuse them or something. I don't know, but I have heard that one before. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming on this Bride of Frankenstein-inspired journey with me. I know my hair is not the greatest, but you know what? I did my best. And like many people out there, my best is not very good. <laughs> but we had fun doing it, and that's all that matters. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. Hit that thumbs up button, um, and I will see you 
all month for more spooky content. I'll see you in the next video, I hope. Tell your friends that there is still someone out there on YouTube uploading videos, doing spooky content, and that someone is me. And they should come hang out and watch me. Because then, next year, I can afford to buy costumes to go with these looks. And maybe a wig. <laughs> so that I don't have to do my own hair. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!